Hey guys, today I'm taking a look at a game called Survive in Space. This is a action space shooter or side-scrolling shooter, shoot 'em up, whatever you want to call it. I'm just gonna start a new game and let you listen to the intro cutscene. After the last light had faded and man was consumed by hatred, the chronicles unveiled themselves to the universe. Not strong in numbers, but they were masters at deceiving and manipulating the weak-minded, cruel and greedy as a man is. He soon fell for the tricks which the Dark Race had in store for him. Scattered and driven mad, the universe was torn apart from the inside out, destined to be ruled. After the Black Ascension, as history calls the rise of the Chronicles, one planet was conquered after another, one race enslaved after another. There was no end to the horrors that became everyday life for the first few survivors, still providing resistance. In one year, all the known universe had fallen to the rapidly growing army of the Chronicles, called the Black Order. There was no sign of hope, and the future was shrouded in darkness. A dying memory remained, of a time filled with peace and serenity. The Chronicles ruled with a firm hand and were always on guard, but they forgot that the enemy can sometimes rise from within. Enemy to some, light and hope for others. Sasaki was a mere soldier. He was obedient and never doubted the lies his master told him to corrupt his mind and soul. He blindly believed that the resistance were the weeds that needed to be exterminated. On a simple mission to corrupt a lower class planet in the outer rim, he came across an ancient temple. It had writings on the wall, writings and pictures of his people being happy and prosperous before the Black Ascension, before the Chronicles. He felt sad for a second, then a sudden shaft of hate flooded his heart. Insanity filled his empty mind, and a dark voice whispered into his ear, Accept me. I will grant you the power to fight injustice. I will help you to become a beacon of hope, and all I ask in return is for you to accept me and take me from this prison of nothingness. Sasaki was filled by his hatred of the Chronicles. He didn't doubt for a second. He allowed the darkness to enter his mind and his heart. Alright, so that was kind of a interesting and kind of outlandish story where these chronicles or some sort of alien race uh, started manipulating people to do their bidding and they are taking over the universe, I suppose. So you play Sasaki and you get to... You get to pick at the beginning between five ships that each have different abilities down here. Like this ability does increase evasion by 10%, or it gives you bonuses. So each ability gives you a different bonus. So this one gives 20% more damage to homing missiles. This one gives shoot four more homing missiles. I'm just going to go ahead and pick the first one. It says increase your damage by 6%. Uh, you get 30% more experience and your ship reflects all received damage to the shooter. You still lose HP. All right. There's also different stances that just tell me um, offensive sta stance advantages and defensive stance advantages. I'll be playing offensive for the most part. There's the different difficulties, and each difficulty gives you different amounts of experience, and you can also uh, turn on modifiers to make it even more harder, but you get more experience. And there's a bunch of levels down here. It looks like there's like, I don't know, maybe 50 levels, maybe more. That's a lot of levels, so let's go ahead and get started. Patience, my young apprentice. Your body is still not strong enough to make full use of my potential. Start slow. No! This is bullshit! I'm tired of waiting. And all you do is talk. You promised me vengeance. You said you'd help me fight injustice. But all you do is preach about power I'm still waiting to see! Oh, silly young one. Always rushing. Come then, find a Black Order patrol and you'll witness what true darkness looks like. I'm beginning to believe you're just a voice in my head. My hatred drove me mad, thinking some higher power might help me. But it's all a lie. You are wrong, fool. The only reason you aren't still dead is because you saved me from that eternal prison. It's because of your disrespect and your hastiness that I won't make this easy for you. Now, feel your mind melting. How your heart is burning up. How your hate manifests itself. What is this? The more pain I feel, the angrier I get. I can feel the power engulfing me from within. It feels... 
good. It's corrupting me, eating away my soul. But still, even in this darkness, I can see everything. Who or what the hell are you? <laughs> this is just the beginning. There is a higher price to pay, but everything will be revealed in time. Alright, so it looks like you have been possessed by that demon looking thing. So now we start the game. So I'm going to be playing with a controller. You can play with a controller or a mouse and keyboard. And right off the bat I'm going to switch yeah. my stance to offensive stance. This allows those little orbs to spread out and I can use those to actually damage enemies like so. I also have a number of different abilities. And you can also look both ways. You can shoot uh, both ways. So you're kind of sh shooting enemies from the left side and the right side at the same time. So it's kind of interesting. Um, most shooters you go one way, this one you go both ways. But you're not really moving, you're just like fending off the, uh, I guess, alien looking ships that are coming around. And some other abilities that I have, I have this uh, home seeking missile ability, which I'll use now. That shoots home seeking missiles all over the place. And I also have this laser beam. And of course, all these abilities are on cooldown, so I uh, won't be able to use those for a while. 20 seconds or so. This game has a pretty good soundtrack, but I had to turn down the volume quite a bit so that you can uh, hear my voice over this. But you can actually change the song in the uh, soundtrack whenever you want, just by pressing the trigger. And I'm sure there's a button on the keyboard that you can... Or you could probably just use your mouse and just go down here and switch the song. There's a lot of good songs, a lot of uh, dubstep or electronic music. So let's go ahead and switch back to defensive mode, just uh, see it a little while. Um, in defensive mode, you take less damage from shots, and those little energy balls around you regenerate. In offensive mode, you take more damage uh, from shots, but the energy balls do a lot of damage, and um, they, they can also get destroyed. So we just beat the first level, sweet. Tell me, who are you? Why are you helping me? I'm the mere servant of darkness, so ancient, even the history books can't track me. But we share the same goal. Vengeance dwells in both of our hearts, so it's only fitting that we become one. Alright. It's kind of cool that there's a lot of cutscenes, even though the cutscenes aren't like the most amazing cutscenes in the world. It's kind of cool that there's a story. A lot of shooters don't even have stories, so it's just cool that there's characters and stories. Um, so after each time you play, you can level up and earn abilities and over here, like my basic attack, I can get more damage, uh, less cooldown, adds lifesteal, gives you bonus experience, increase your chance to instantly kill an enemy, or increase your chance to mini stun an enemy. I might just go with experience to begin with, I'm going to use experience on each of my abilities. I'm going to go to my player and I can upgrade other stuff like evasion, shield regeneration, cooldown, bonus damage, and en enemy slow, I guess that slows down enemies. I'm just going to do bonus damage there, and I guess I'm just going to continue on to the next level. Here we go. Oops, I accidentally switched the song, but whatever. Has a surprisingly good soundtrack. And of course it's good to kill as many enemies as you can, as that'll give you more experience, which means more upgrades, which means you can get further. I might even actually uh, put, in, put on a modifier or maybe increase the difficulty after this, because uh, the first few levels are really easy. And I don't seem to ha be having any trouble whatsoever. Uh. 
embrace the dark. Pretty cool space background with planets flying around in the back. I'm a big fan of uh, like the electronic music, so uh, the soundtrack is pretty awesome to me. I can just sit back and play this for hours. <laughs> pretty relaxing. Alright, looks like a new enemy there. There's no like energy or anything with your skills, you can just keep using them. Embrace the darkness. That seems like a mini boss over there, but I killed it extremely quickly. End of level two. It might be a cutscene here. Nope. Okay, good. All right. So let's go ahead and change this to hard mode, and I think I'm going to spawn additional enemies as well. Or actually, let's just do hard mode for now. I'm not really sure if I'm uh, confident in my abilities quite yet. So basic attack. I'm going to put life steal on my basic attack, and then I'm going to put uh, increase. Or actually, cool down. Oops. Can I not backtrack? Okay, I accidentally put damage increase on that. I wanted to put uh, cooldown decrease, but it doesn't really matter, I suppose. And then I have three upgrade points, so I'm going to put two in cooldown reduction, one in damage, and that looks good. I wonder if I could just... Oh, that's cool. You can just switch uh, cra or aircrafts at any time, or spaceships, I should say. That's pretty awesome. I can level them up individually. Go ahead and continue on to level 3. This time I'm playing on hard mode. Maybe it'll be a little bit harder. Probably just means that enemies have more health. Oops. I keep accidentally skipping the, uh, the songs. If you have to press, or on the controller, you press bumper to uh, switch between shooting left and right, and I keep. Uh, oops. Pressing the triggers, which changes the song. Okay, hard mode is definitely a little bit harder. Okay, as you can see, in defensive mode, I regenerated one of those energy balls. And you can't do that on offensive mode. I really love how, like, flashy everything is. Very bright neon colors all over the place. Alright, these enemies are definitely stronger. They definitely have more health. I wonder if it would be better, like more experience, if I played on like normal, but I increased the amount of enemies on the screen. I'll probably try that next. I definitely enjoy playing on hard mode a lot better than normal. This actually feels challenging. Not too challenging though, which I kinda appreciate how many difficulty settings there are. Oops. Oh well. Nice. Alright, 
so this time I'm going to change the medium and I'm going to put additional enemies and try uh, um, try that out. So I got some more upgrade points. I guess I'll do um, increase your chance to instantly kill an enemy, increase your chance to mini stun enemy, increases bonus damage. I guess I'll do bonus damage for that, and then decrease that, and then bonus damage for this. I got four points, um, I'll do two on bonus damage, and then I'll do two on shield regeneration. And let's go ahead and go back, oops, continue, there we go. So this time we have a, a modifier, so we'll, there'll be more enemies on the screen, but we're playing on medium this time again. Definitely a lot more enemies, holy crap. I'm gonna change this on. Whoa. I just got hit. And I just died. Holy crap, there's a lot of enemies. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and exit. I need to turn that off. Oh man, that was hard. Spawn fortress, fortress mode. Spawns a planet fortress with cannons. This mode gives you 50% more experience. Spawn asteroids. Gives you additional obstacles in space. Let's try asteroid mode. Looks like I leveled up again. I guess we'll do uh, bonus shield. And that looks good. And continue play. Alright, so this this mode looks a lot easier. I can handle it with a bunch of asteroids. I really like that the character on the bottom left screen is animated. It's pretty unique for a game like this. See the pilot steering the uh, spaceship. I wonder if asteroids get experience. They might. about done and victory oops Achievement. <laughs> it says keep pressing those buttons. I guess that's from getting a certain amount of kills, I suppose. I got another achievement. Did we play this somewhere else? Maybe. Okay, end of level. So that was pretty fun. I, I think asteroids, I mean, the experience reward is definitely worth it for asteroids since uh, it's not too difficult. Oh, we just unlocked another tier of abilities. This one says critical chance, increases your chance to make critical chance by 25%. That's quite a lot. 100% chance to makes your shot split, gives spell bonus major damage, gives your spell dot damage that deals 33%, and increases your critical damage. Note, you need to upgrade your chance to crit. So sweet. And there's a bunch of abilities down here. There's like, I don't know, like 30 abilities to, to unlock? That's really cool. Maybe even more. Okay, let's go ahead and pick one of these. I guess I'll pick, uh, I don't even know. It's the kill chance or mini stun chance. Um, 
the laser. I guess I'll do instant kill chance. And with homing missiles, I don't know what to do with this one. I guess... I guess lifesteal. Now you got four more levels. Let's increase damage. I guess we'll increase enemy slow and then evasion. Back and continue. Okay, now we're on level five. It looks like these red things that are locked are the bosses. So I suppose we could try to get to a boss. But I'm probably going to have to make a two-part video, so after this, I'm going to make a part two. It's, uh, this is getting quite long. So far, I'm really enjoying this game, though. It's a pretty uh, pleasant experience. Pretty relaxing. At least for me. I like the uh, soundtrack as well. And the bright colors, the neon colors. Oh. I think I got hit there. There's a lot of dubstep songs as well. I don't like dubstep that much, but it seems to fit pretty well with the space theme. So I don't mind it too much in this game. Got another achievement. Barrage underway. Alright, so that was level 5. So I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to make a part 2 of this. Um, again, this game is called Survive in Space. Be sure to check this game out on Steam if you enjoyed what you've seen so far. And stay tuned for part 2. And I'll leave a link in the description below. I don't know if I said that before, but there's a link to the game in the description below. Have a nice day.